Alright, so migraines, headache, neck, shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, hips, sciatica, knee. Dude, what happened to you? I've, uh, since I was 19, I um, herniated two bulging discs okay. playing golf. <laughs> I've uh, played golf since I was 10, but uh, playing golf when I was 19, I don't know hitting that. a bunch of drives and just have had issues ever since. Where do you have the uh, herniations at? The lowest three discs. Okay. Yeah. So what do you feel? Like, day to day? Every day, pain. Every day, pain? Every day. Like, low back? Yeah, like right now, right here, mostly. Okay. Um, but every day. I mean, I carry my stress in my shoulders. Okay. So I literally get a migraine right in here. I get knots really bad. Okay. I get migraine and it wraps around my head. Jeez. All the time. Oh, okay. I, Currently? I, I actually do have a headache today. And okay. I get like a lot of pressure. I have bad allergies. Okay. Um, but I get knots. I mean, my, my poor son, he's eight years old. He already knows how to like put his elbow in the knots. <laughs> <laughs> Teach him young, yeah? Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's bad. It sucks. And I like, I, cr I mean, I see a chiropractor but I call it light chiropractic, uh, <laughs> if that makes is, sense. Yeah. It's when you, do you get relief? It does, okay. it helps. Um, but you're still obviously having headaches, migraines. Yes, it's helped a little bit with the migraines. That's why I went. Okay. I couldn't get the migraine to go away. Okay. And I went on a Sunday, because it was so bad. I couldn't get it, I mean, I take Neurotech for my migraines. Okay. Yeah. You just... I'm just messed up. I see that. <laughs> so... In the lower back, that pain in there, staying there, does anything ever shoot travel down? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'll just be laying in my bed, <laughs> and I'll just, like, all of a sudden, I'll be like, ah! Like, it'll just shoot down my leg. Just, so you just got everything going on. Dude, <laughs> it's, it's constant. I've just l learned to kind of live with it. I've done everything you can think of. I've done decompression, which is the best thing I've ever done. Okay. Um, I've had injections in my lower back. Um, I'm not going to say the place I went to, but I would never go there ever again. I couldn't walk for a week after I did it. Um, they said they were going to put me in like a sedated um, thing, but I remember everything and I started screaming when they put like the needles in and oh, the God, medicine in. like a horror movie. Yeah, it was awful. I like started screaming like when I was supposed to be in a twilight state and I was like this part like started screaming <sighs> and then I couldn't walk for a week like it was bad. Um, I've done physical therapy, I've done chiropractic work, massages, I've done everything since I was 19 and I'm old. <laughs> You're not old. I'm 37. Not I mean, old. That's a long time, almost 20 years. Correct. but. Well, they did everything except come here. Oh, uh, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't want to do surgery. No, I don't, I don't blame you with that. My brother's had, uh, like, three surgeries on his discs, and, I mean, he saw his issues. So I'm like, there's no way. Jeez. All right. Well, let's get you some relief. Yeah. Go face down on the table for me. Yeah, right leg is a good bit short compared to the left. Even right hip is a little bit raised up there. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. So you can already tell you, like, there's a ton of rotation just in the neck. Even the right occiput atlas is sitting up higher, left side is, it's like your head's tilted like that, <laughs> but just right up top. Alright, we're going to have some fun today. Yay. There was one time I had a back spasm, mm -hmm. and I was stuck on my floor for three hours. My parents had to come get me, <laughs> my floor. 
you need that help I phone and I can't get up. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just giving you crap. No, it was. It, it was. I taught my son how to use his little at that time, but he knows how to use my phone to call people in case that happens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sleep tonight. I'm so excited. You have no idea. I'm gonna do some soft tissue work so your okay. traps are gonna really get it right now. Shoots up and then wrap like wraps around my head. Gosh. I don't even know what just popped. <laughs> <laughs> Clavicle. Huh? Oh. I didn't know that side was that bad. <laughs> oh shit. There we go. Trust me, that right there, that was the worst of everything. I didn't realize that it was that messed up. Because <laughs> I occasionally will get a headache on. It's so weird because my migraines are normally just on one side. Okay. And it starts like it'll be like in here. Yeah. Up, going then, up, yeah. And... Go um, face down again for me, please. Okay. Leg length is starting to get better. Still a little bit shorter on the right though. Stabilize on the sacrum. Okay. 
Raise your right leg up for me. As high as you can go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any pain with that? I mean, there's pain just in general, but it doesn't add to Okay. That. What about left side? How'd that compare to the right? It caused pain on that side. Did it? Yeah, it pulled on it. Is that weird? <laughs> No, 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 that's why I test that. So this this didn't change anything, right side, but left side, you actually had more pain going on to the right side. So I'm gonna have you cross your left foot over your right foot for me. Okay. Raise that left leg up again. Yeah, that was what? Okay, raise the right leg up. But you know both legs did actually raise up quite a bit higher than the first time. There you go. Okay. Um, flip onto your back for me. Okay. And just relax your legs. Ooh, I felt that on my ankle. Actually, scoot down just a tiny bit. Yeah, a little bit forward. Like that. Okay, and now right I'm back. Yeah. Never had anything like this done? No. Pressure, like relieved. <laughs> Good. Just like it, almost like relieved, like pressure in like my shoulders too. Good. It was weird. Felt really good. <laughs> that was the first. We still got another one. <laughs> Two, another one of those. Uh huh. Okay. Coming up for me first, though. So. Okay. I gotcha. Do you find that there's a lot of bad chiropractors that give good chiropractors a bad name? You know, sadly, it's, it's like that in any any profession. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of chiros out there that might not be the greatest adjusters or might try to be the ones that like to upsell. But then you also have that with medical doctors, surgeons, 
you have that at even like at a body shop you know you can get people that actually are good at what they do and truthful and honest you know or you get not so yeah you know there's been there's offices that I've worked at that you would walk in one they would be having me do plans where I'm doing like these crazy like three three month nine month the year plans with patients and I would I used to set people up on plans like that and I couldn't I'm not a salesman. Yeah. I'm ter- like I, I hated doing it. I was good at it. Like I could get people to sign up, but I just I didn't like doing it. Yeah. And then there was other offices I walked into. There was more supplements than a freaking GNC. Yeah. Because they were more worried about oh let's, you know, get this and this and this and this and this. There was one time there was somebody rang up for like a thousand dollar supplement bill for the month, and I'm looking I'm like, I'm like by that point I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, what in the hell? Like, no. That's and then they're having the person come in three times a week, and they're barely getting better. I'm like, like, I feel like at that point, they're almost getting take advantage of. Like, I completely understand if somebody comes out of, like, a crazy trauma, auto accident, something, mm-hmm. you're going to need more visits in the beginning. But everyone is always going to need a chiropractor. There's no, like, with me, there's no end, like, completion date. If you're living... You're yeah. gonna be moving, like you're gonna. But now, in the other sense, I'm not seeing you multiple times weekly, three yeah. or four times a year. But that's that's the goal. Yeah. I've been to a chiropractor where I couldn't. I almost couldn't walk out. Yeah. That bad. I, I didn't go back. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Kicker is though, even with someone like that. I mean, we all know that's not the. Oh God! Goal no. of any doc no. to you know no, make I know. Worse, but when you go to somebody who's inexperienced or kind of don't really know how to adjust well, mm-hmm. you kind of get that at times. Mm-hmm. Just as good as the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I felt those in my knots too. Is that? I didn't think that, that you would feel that there. Oh yeah. Majority. So with every time, like even say three months when you come back, this might be a completely different experience. Really? Yep. It's like that every time, depending on where somebody is out of alignment the most, is where they feel it. Where the kid right before you, all the way down, but he actually said he felt it more in the lower back. Yeah, I can feel it like now though, I almost want to like crack the middle of my back. You feel a little like a spot there now? Yeah. Oh, we'll get you. Okay. Don't worry. But it's like I felt like pressure in my knots, like like release. Yeah. It was weird. <laughs> like, I'm like, how's that possible? It's taking pressure off upper mm-hmm. and you gotta realize a lot of the times where like like if you follow the trap mm-hmm. so the trap starts up here insert origin comes down and inserts all the way down into there so you gotta realize if it lets things go upper that trap is following that pattern and so that can get released lower so I know, like you said, you felt like muscle lines getting kind of pulled apart and moving like an owl right now. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'll get like a lot of times where I'll want to crack my neck and I just get this like really annoying feeling mm-hmm. where I can't crack it. And it's just like this like really frustrating feeling in my neck. Dang. Yeah, no, that's something that's telling you like it's out of alignment. I know you're probably trying to turn and get it and yeah, it's, it's stuck. Yep. That ain't fun. No.
deep at the end. Where was that spot, or how was that spot? Well, I just cracked it a little bit. Did you? Yeah, it was just like right here in the middle. Go, um, go face down again for me. Muscle tries to protect the back kind of situation. Yeah, what I want to see is because of all the movement that we did get, mm -hmm. I want to see if with that letting go, if lower will start letting go. A lot of the times after getting adjusted, it takes about 24 to 48 hours gotcha. until you actually like really notice mm -hmm. the effect. Granted, I've, I've got like the two types of patients, ones that are like immediate bawling on the table, crying, relief and whatnot, and then I've got others where they'll email me like a week later like holy crap. <laughs> I'm I'm amazing. Yeah. So I mean no, it feels I mean I feel good. Yeah. Like this is what I wanted. Like a deep Ye Yes. <laughs> if and that makes sense. Not just a light. A light. Yeah. <laughs> Cracking like I like a yeah, you need yeah. you need some force. You need yeah, to feel like you've been yeah. adjusted. Like when you did my neck the first time, I was like, oh. <laughs> yes, because that's a lot of the time when I get the migraines. Like it starts in the shoulder here, but then I I get a knot here, and I just like I try, and I'm like I can't get where it is. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. I will tell you right now, just. Kind of with what I'm saying, I, this upper and the headaches and migraines are going to lessen almost to probably nothing. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring, it's going to bring shoulders like following the traps into the shoulders. That's going to lessen. I would say the only thing that's going to be there just a little bit is a little bit with the lower. So I'd say that next visit, at least getting this to all clear up. Yeah, and then then that gives your body and your surrounding muscles around lower to not resist as much. Okay. So I know the next visit will, this excited. is going to get cleared and where you, when you come back in you're going to be like, barely any headaches or migraines at all. I'm excited for that because <laughs> this like right here and I get those knots and I've always had, my mom gets them yeah. and I just, I mean, I literally am like, I have a massage therapist and she's like, it feels like railroad tracks on your back. So, and I didn't realize when you got this shoulder, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, by the way, if I look in the mirror and I've got black shit, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> hold on. Is it every little, <laughs> Just a little, but you can't, you can't. <laughs> It just happened, actually. It was after the last. <laughs> it was after uh, the last one. 
It's because I was crying because it felt so good. <laughs> it's okay. It is what it is. Um, no, but that was awesome. Good.